Alright, how's everybody doing? And welcome to the fish room. Uh, so today I thought I'd give you a quick sneak peek of the fish room. I'm gonna do a full tour and I have some more things to do. Um, in the next week or two, I'll do, do some more videos in here. Um, but today I thought I'd do a video on how to make the chlorinator for your aquariums for doing your water changes and filling your tanks. Alright, so I'll make this video as quick and less confusing as possible. I've done a video on this in the past. Um, but basically all you're gonna need to make the chlorinator to do water changes on your aquariums or to fill your tank up, whatever it may be. Um, you need a measuring uh, cup here and it goes, this one goes up to 500 milliliters, which is important. Um, so we have milliliters, 500. Um, I have a container here. This is obviously like a cranberry juice thing. Uh, the only thing that's important here is you wanna have a large enough container that once it's full, you have a lot of air in between. You can shake it up and kind of stir the powder. Um, so I'm really filling the water up to about here, which gives me plenty of room. And also important, um, it has a large top. So something like this is gonna be pretty easy. If you're using like a Sprite bottle or a liter um, with a small mouth, it's very hard to do. So I suggest using like a Gatorade or something larger. Obviously you can buy your own container, but um, this is supposed to be a easy, cheap way to make the chlorinator and to save money. Uh, the most important thing here, um, this is my Seachem Safe Powder. Um, this is one kilogram and it's going to make me a ton of the chlorinator. I had 43 aquariums at one point in time, changing about 500 to 1,000 gallons of water every single week. And this thing lasts me two to three years. Um, there's instructions on the back on how to mix it. I'm going to tell you how to do it so it's a lot easier. And then you'll need yourself um, one tablespoon uh, just for measuring out. All right, so I'm going to go quick to this because obviously it's quite easy, but you want to make sure your water is warm before you do this because it's going to help everything mix easier. Um, but I'm going to do three cups of 500 milliliters of warm water. If it's a little bit under that mark, it's actually good because our uh, measurements are just a tiny bit off. But we're going to go ahead and do uh, three cups of 500 milliliters of warm water just right from your tap. Next thing you need to do is get four tablespoons of your Seachem Safe. So I might use two hands fists so I don't spill any. There's one. Two. And this can be a little bit over the lip because um, my measurements, usually my last one I'll do a little bit extra. My measurements are going to make, um, if you're basing off a bottle of Prime, um, 4,800 gallons, so 4,800 um, per bottle. And the bottles, I believe, do 5,000. So I can do a, just a tiny bit extra of this last scoop, just a little bit over the top. Shake it off in there, and then we're gonna shake it up. I'll just shake it for like a minute or two. I'll swirl it around, and uh, you'll see, since the water's warm, how fast it'll dissolve into the container here. All right, so I'll let this settle for about a minute, but I'm pretty much ready to go. Um, I wanna do some videos in the fish room, but I had to do water changes or fill tanks, so I needed a coordinator to do it. So hopefully this helps you guys out. This Seachem Safe here is $30. I'll put a link in the description for that um, off Amazon. So this is $30, and this, if you were to buy the 500 milliliter prime uh, liquid dechlorinator, uh, that's three bottles right there. And that would be, if you're getting to $10 each online, uh, that's $30 there. If you were to buy in a store, maybe $60. You may, you may pay almost $20 per bottle um, just for your dechlorinator for one bottle of 500 milliliters of prime, which makes around 5,000 gallons of water. Uh, so just to kind of clarify myself, I'll say this once or twice. Um, if you buy this Seachem Safe, you mix four tablespoons of the powder with 1,500 milliliters of water. Uh, so I was using that 500 milliliter, I did three of those. Um, so now we have 1,500 milliliters of water, four tablespoons and a little bit extra on our last scoop um, of the Seachem Safe. And if I did exactly four tablespoons, it's gonna give me 14,400 gallons of uh, dechlorinating water. And this is all based off of the prime bottle, which is very important because now I can do all my measurements the exact same way. 
uh, basing off of the prime bottle which you can buy one just to get you started I'll put a link for that as well say you buy that once you have a $10 bottle of prime if you get a good deal on it then you can base all your measurements off that um, this is important the way I measure it is I use these pipettes here um, up to the first line is one milliliter and two milliliter so whenever I'm doing my water changes this is important if you go ahead buy a bottle of prime a bottle of the Seachem safe and some pipettes um, if I'm doing water changes I'm doing a five gallon bucket uh, the first line is five gallons then ten gallons and I'll put all this down in the description for links and just kind of clarifying myself so you have all the numbers and I'll also have them on the screen here um, but I'm gonna say this again because this is very important if you already watched the beginning of the video uh, very simple four tablespoons of uh, Seachem safe 1500 milliliters of water uh, and then these pipettes one milliliter does five gallons 10 milliliters does 10 gallons very important and this has saved me hundreds and hundreds of dollars over the years in a dechlorinator and also a lot less runs to the pet store to pick things up but basically i hope this helps you guys out a lot um, please go below if you're not already subscribed subscribe to the channel um, leave some comments. Let me know how you guys uh, dechlorinate your water if you use RO systems instead If you use tap water if you have well water, whatever it may be um, But this in my opinion is the easiest cheapest way to make your own dechlorinator uh, Save you a ton of money, but um, I have a lot of videos coming out soon. I'm setting up a salt water tank I'm moving some things. I'm doing some big water changes uh, So I had to do this first, but go ahead subscribe hit the notification bell below and uh, stay tuned for my next video